G'day guys. Got a little interesting one here. This is the boards from a one of those things. GP ZZ seven thousand and you have a look at the receiver board. That's just the uh, receiver coaxial cable there. But there is no module, no black module on this board. And it has all been removed and cleaned up. And I'll tell you, to remove that module from that board, because this, the module on here blew up, by the way. To remove that module... Uh, I've been here for ages. I, I think it took two hours to remove that module. So the story goes that people tell me that uh, um, these boards uh, are not repairable. They're just basically, if your module blows up, you have to uh, put another set of boards in it. And uh, that's the CPU, um, ADCs, and multiplexer board. You can see where that goes on there. That board's okay. That one there's uh, screwed because the module uh, did a meltdown. And yeah, this one belongs to a fellow called Zach. So Zach's detector. Uh, I had the module and what it does, um, there's part of the module that uh, it um, bubbles and melts and smoke pours out when they fail. And it seems to be the same fault. So whatever component that uh, dies, in my opinion, is not up to par um, if it uh, fails that often. Now, where did I put that rotten little module? Hmm, I had it in my hand. I plonked it down, and because everything's black, I can't see it. I didn't put it under that board there. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, here's a module. This is, this is um, yeah, failure number one. Apart from uh, people blowing them up by sticking uh, ill-fitted dongles uh, to other coils. But uh, this gadget here, oh, it goes around that way. There you go. You can have a look at, that's where it lives. It lives in there. Uh, this thing is basically, uh, um, yeah, fried. I actually heated it up and had a bit of a dig into it. You can um, disintegrate this material, the plastic. It's not resin, or it might be a resin. I don't really know what it is, but obviously you tend to keep prying eyes out. Um, and I always thought, what what the hell is this thing here in a big like a big lump? It actually looks like a polypropylene capacitor. So there's round ones and square ones. Uh, so that's what that was, and that's where it burns out under there. Uh, it all bubbles and uh, um, pops and, yeah, go, go, gets through and uh, pops out. So, yeah, this one here is uh, totally uh, stuffed. <laughs> yeah. So that's what's going to cost cost you a fortune uh, to get uh, new boards. But what I'm going to do this as a project. I've had a look at this one here on the board. And you can see... Where all the uh, pins are, well, these are the through holes where the pins go. And every one I put a white dot next to is an active connection. And some of them are just test point. Um, they go to test points around here. So there's a stack of the rotten things. There, I call them rotten things because um, when they put this module in, that everything that hasn't got a white dot is ground. So it's ground, 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 all the way along here. So most of the connections are ground points. And it just makes it look overly complicated. So if you look at the, um, on the back there, you'll think that, oh my God, look at all those connections. But um, if you look at this here, you've got uh, two inputs from your uh, input uh, coaxial cable from your coil there. You got um, well, it should be three there because one is an earth, and uh, that's your power supply, five volt plus and minus power supply. Two middle ones are ground, and uh, 
On here, you've got negative and positive, goes into the module. Uh, there's a, 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 what says J, which is just some socket position here. And if you have a look there, I hope this thing's going in focus, is it? Mm, yeah, behave. If you have a look uh, here, it's got some connections there that go to this, so they don't go anywhere else. Uh, there's some other connections here. They run round and um, there's meant to be a resistor there. It's not there, and uh, I think it's one there, and there's ones here that go, just go to the test points here. So what is there on the on the white? What, the ones we don't know, well, we, we do know, sort of, but we'll have a look at it. We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 points we don't know where they go. Um, so we're going to say that some of, the, some of them will be test points. So we'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can say we're probably down to 9 connections we don't know. I'd say that this um, possibly has outputs to, to do some timing or or some sequencing. Um, I don't think uh, it will be very hard to decode what does what. So what I'm going to try and do with this is I'm going to um, nut it out and have a look, compare it with one that's working and this one as well, and uh, have a look on the oscilloscope and see if we can work out what is going on. And then from that data of knowing what does what where, I'm going to see if I can build my own front end for it. I don't really think it'll be that difficult because it, it, it's not 40 pins. It's probably going to be something, maybe about five active pins or something of that nature. And you know, simple things, we know where, um, you know, very easy things, power supply and input is. And uh, we're just going to track out the other ones. We're going to see what they do. And uh, when I do this, I'll put up um, all the waveforms and uh, what we've got there. So get a, get a few people onto this. There's some smart people out there in the world who love playing with this sort of stuff, so you can have a look too. Um, because these modules should be replaceable, in my opinion, and uh, because if the module goes down, it takes out the whole thing. And uh, like I said, customers have told me they were quoted $7,200 for new boards. And I find that to be, well, I, I find that to be the same way you think it to be. I don't know if going to say anything about that. Um, yeah, so if I can, by the grace of God, come up with a way to put a new front end in here, well, then that's going to uh, save people a lot of grief. Uh, the way these are, this this is again my opinion. I would never own one of these out of the warranty period, because if if anything happens and that module goes, um, well, guess what? You're between a rock and a hard place, and uh, yeah, it'll end up with an expensive lemon sitting there. So, what can you what can you do? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really, I'm against making um, unrepairable electronics. I mean, the whole, in my opinion again, because it's got to be in my opinion, not not uh, anyone else's opinion, but my own personal opinion, that the whole uh, input stage should have been um, just done on, on a separate PCB and not dumped in uh, resin or anything. It could have been put in a um, one of those uh, clear, um jelly type resins if you if you want to keep it temperature stable it it didn't need to go in to hard resin and like i've said before when i was doing um, other electronics years and years ago we had manufacturers basically you know block resin all their components and all it used to do is um, thermally stress and pull legs through the foot through plates and stuff the boards and uh, it was epoxy resin. Some of it we could, you know, basically hit it with a screwdriver and a, and a hammer and break it off and resolder the back of the boards. But this, um, no, nah, that that's a bin job. You can't do anything with that. So that's my um, 
One of my pet hates or pet dislikes is anything that is done in a particular way to um, render it unserviceable. I don't think that is fair in my personal opinion. So as, as we see, the, um, this board would work fine, except that that module is absolutely cactus. And what can you do? The only simple thing is try and uh, build a new module. So you can see what's, what, it, what it is there written anyway. You can see that there, preamp module 5909-0204. Um, yeah. No lead. Well, I know that because the solder was high temperature solder. It was an absolute bugger to... You got no idea what I had to do to get this out because you can't get to it this side because it's smacked down hard and those uh the way the earth pins are it sucks all the heat out because it's into the ground plane or ground planes depending how it's constructed and you can't um do these here because they're right next to the connector i had to come up with my own weird and wonderful way of uh undoing all this and getting it to that point so we can have a play we see what we can do i might have to um, really delve deep and uh, work out how it actually works but uh, once i know what is doing what on this detector i should be able to um, and maybe i can get a little bit of help from uh, someone i know who's very very clever at this sort of stuff um, and uh, we can nut it out we'll nut it out together uh, so yeah, we'll see what we can do because um you know i wonder how many of these have gone in the bin or sitting there we've blown up uh front ends or preamp modules we'll call it preamp module that's what they say it is and uh yeah um otherwise you just got to what are you going to do you're going to buy new boards a 72 or you're going to just bin the whole detector um yeah so it's a bit sad if you've got any um, broken, busted detectors, 7000s particularly, I think, that you don't want or totally useless to you, um, yeah, contact us. Tell us what you want for them because um, we might be able to do some experimentation just see if we can, uh, you know, make one out of two or make one out of three or whatever the case may be. So that's where it is. Uh, with this yeah i just thought i'd just um i pulled it apart and did all this hard work on it so i thought i'd uh, make a video on it so be be kind and gentle to your uh uh seven thousands I, I don't know why the, the module blows up i have no idea but it's i've seen a couple of them where they have meltdowns and and like i said where that lump is there that's all covered in resin normally um it all bubbles up in here and uh, yeah i think this one's also it's got a hole here as well and i think it's might have um, bubbled up there as well so um i don't know don't know anyway we'll see what we can do with um the 7000 and uh, we'll plot on anyway just a short one catches